How to fully assemble a 135mm axle with automatic system. Start by clamping the wheel in a vise with the left side axle flats. If this is a new wheel, now is the time to remove the shift retainer. The flat sprocket 17 teeth and bigger are assembled with the sprocket first, followed by the 2mm spacer and secured with the snap ring. The 16 teeth sprocket comes with two 1mm spacers. Place one below the sprocket and one on top, then secure it with the snap ring. The gate sprocket assembly is the easiest when using the gate's SureFit assembly tool. If done without the tool, wiggle the sprocket on by hand, make sure it is fully seated and secure it with the snap ring. Place the sprocket onto the hub, place the tool over the sprocket with the arms situated in the gaps and hit it firmly to make sure it is fully seated. Secure it with the snap ring. The sprocket magnet ring is flexible and is mounted over the snap ring of the sprocket with the hook aligned with the opening of the snap ring. The hub magnet ring is mounted on the hub shell flange and secured with a 2.5 mm Allen bolt to 1 Newton meter. Make sure the fixation point is not on one of the outside spokes. Now, position the hub interface behind the dropout so no part of the housing interferes with the frame and the connector is hidden behind the chainstay. Mark the hub interface in the middle of the dropout, and use that mark to position it on the hub. Place the hub interface on the hub with the marking aligned with the middle of the flat axle side. Thread the skinny nut on the axle, serrations facing outwards, and tighten it to 8 to 10 newton meters. Then, slide the wheel into the dropout and mount the non-turn washers as well as axle nuts. Tighten the axle nuts to 30 to 40 newton meter. Finally, reconnect the automatic cable, the logo on the connector should be facing up. Now, you're all set.